The Archer just released as a limited time game pass. Of course, I got it. What I didn't expect was how insanely buffed it is. Previously, the Archer's been pretty bad. It had terrible DPS, it was really only a cool flex. But today, they gave the man the biggest glow up ever. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Archer, as well as giving detailed descriptions of its stats and capabilities. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. The base Archer costs 600 cash to place, meaning you can place it on round 1. It deals 4 damage per hit, fires every 2.508 seconds, and has a range of 20. Its DPS is 1.59. This tower is a fantastic early game tower. By itself, on Molten Mode, it was able to survive all the way to this round without any leaks. Okay, so the wiki says that the Archer has 0 pierce from level 1 to 2. However, when I was testing this in the game, it really didn't seem like it. It hits 2 enemies, and I'm not sure if that's a glitch or a bug, but because of that, I'm actually going to calculate the DPS assuming it's hitting 2 enemies at once. So its DPS is actually double of what I said, giving the base Archer a total DPS of 3.18. The level 1 upgrade costs 100 cash. The Archer now has 22 range and fires once every 2.008 seconds. It has an average DPS of 3.98. The level 2 upkeep costs 700 cash. The Archer now deals 8 damage, which is twice as much as before, but fires every 2.58 seconds, which is a bit slower. It also gains hidden detection. It has an average DPS of 7.08. The level 3 upkeep costs 1,500 cash. The Archer now deals 10 damage per hit. The arrows now also inflict a burn effect, similar to the Pyro. Its pierce was also increased to 3, which increases its average DPS to 17.71. The level 4 upkeep costs 3,000 cash. It deals 20 damage per hit, fires every 1.508 seconds, has a range of 24, and its burn damage is increased. Its average DPS is 53.05. Finally, the level 5 upkeep costs 7,500 cash. The archer now deals 30 damage, has a range of 26, pierces 4 enemies, and its arrows have a stronger burn effect. It has an average DPS of 119.36. These are the final stats of the Archer. Overall, it's a huge improvement from its previous stats. Now, how should you best use it? As I mentioned earlier in the video, the Archer is an amazing early game tower. It only cost 600 cash and by itself was able to survive all the way to round 9, and that was with pretty bad placement. Its cheap cost plus high splash damage combo makes it a perfect early game tower, being sort of a long range gladiator. Because it gains hidden detection at level 2, it's amazing at dealing with wave 13 and 15, being able to pierce through and kill the lines of hidden enemies. One unit I found it was particularly good against was Breakers. It absolutely shreds these guys, and I know that these enemies are a real pain to some people. One very important thing to know when using this tower is that its placement matters a lot. You want to place it in a position where it can shoot straight down the path and hit as many enemies as possible. If it's angled to the side, the arrow won't hit as many enemies, and the archer won't perform as well. Since the Archer gets flying detection at level 0, it can be a good cheap alternative against flying enemies in hardcore mode, which are usually a big problem. It also has no placement limit, so you can place up to 20 or 40 in solo. That means that it can be a pretty good late game tower, shredding through late game bosses like the Breakers or even Slow Giants and do some decent damage against the final boss. Because of how powerful it is, and the vast variety of uses for it, I'm gonna rank the Archer as an A tier tower. I gotta say it seems to be one of the best event towers in the game, potentially rivaling the Gladiator and the Elf Camp. But what do you think? Is Archer going to be the new meta tower, or do you think it still needs to be buffed? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, and subscribe to join the Blue Head Mafia. My name is Corso, and I'll see y'all in the next video.